Hi guys, it's Gus again. Um, earlier I made a video, uh, I deleted it. Thank you for all the comments. Um, all the comments from YouTube and Discord made this build um, significantly better. And so this build, uh, two things. It is com it is not for dungeons. It's purely for Zero and Tom. It is single target. It will not perform that good against mobs. Um, also, this build is completely ranged. There is no changing stances in this build, um, which makes matches a little bit less sweatier and um, less room for error. Um, I just ran three Zerials with this and the performance is very good. Uh, not gonna say you're gonna be the best. You might be in some groups, uh, but I was, uh, I, I, it ranged in the three matches. It was, I think, third most. All three of them are fourth. Maybe second. I got pictures. But th it's okay if you're not getting first. Why is that? Because we are using commanding shot to buff the whole group. So everybody does 10% more damage. So any group leader who's hosting would gladly have somebody give up some of their damage to make the whole group 10% stronger. In addition to that, uh, this build is really, I was very, I was having a lot of fun with it. Okay, so again, it's only for um, Tom and Zeril. It doesn't perform well in dungeons and um, it's pure ranged with a little bit of support sprinkle on top of the DPS. Um, stats. Everybody's talking about stats. Okay, the first thing you see is I'm over 160, I think. 152, 158 on combat advantage. I do not know how to get that down without hurting the build. If somebody knows, please let me know. This build is with uh, Sorbet, uh, Wildstorm Elixir, and the Superior Flask of Potency. So those stats are with consumables. I'm not using the um, guild guild food though, but let's see what it looks like when I proc everything. And what you're going to notice is, is I'm not 100% on anything, or 90%. I mean, um, because I don't know if you can make this build any better. Um, I don't know how to cap the stats and and make this build. So, 85, 78, 80, 85. That's his, oh, it gets a little bit better. For 30 seconds out of the 60 seconds, you get to use Vanguard's banner if you have it, and it gives 2,500 power. So let me go and cast that. Mm, let me, I'm just proccing the rib cage. Okay, so now I am capped on power, and I know it's not even barely over because if I take off a 300 insignia, it actually goes to like 89.8 or 89.8 and I was in the 85% ranges on the other stuff so power is max but that's only with uh, the Vanguard's banner um, I'm so lucky to have this uh, it's from a long time ago and so uh, since very few groups have it most group leaders want me to run it so I can basically make my build around it uh, so the problem with this is half the match I'm at 85% power instead of 90% power uh, so I'm underperforming but the opposite is if I'm using the Vanguard's banner I would be and I was capped on power prior to that I'd be over by 5% power which means I'd be wasting stats um, and I'm not wasting stats uh, being at 85 because they're distributed to other offensive um, offensive stats so I'd prefer to get as many stats as I can offensive stats as possible okay so the Garisto's helmet is amazing for ward or uh, wardens too but hunters that um, that use melee and ranged the problem with the uh, uh, pure range build is we don't do t attacks fast at all they're very super slow so it would take a while to get the 10 stacks up for Garistro and we would lose a lot of effectiveness in that time. So I'm just taking the constant 7% CA. Um, 
uh, all every enchant I have is I I have um, it's gonna sound crazy because I haven't heard anybody say this all Azures in offense and all Azures in defense except for a Tenebrous um, uh, Tenebrous a bark shield and a bile I have a couple tacticals in defense because I don't have any more Azures to put in the uh, defensive slot um, the reason I'm using all Azures is you can see my combat advantage is capped so I had to take off all my assassins to lower that combat advantage as far as I could and I just up my crit strike as much as I could uh, that's probably particular to this exact build other builds probably won't have that issue uh, bone devil's rip cage I know it's expensive guys but this is the biggest game changing item you can have on your build it is amazing I mean you're getting um 30 percent uh 30 percent stats from this thing no nothing comes close to that um so you might want to get it and i'm using bark shield um i've heard talk of other enchantments like um negation maybe i would not use that for the trials i would stick with bark shield that survivability comes on the big hits that we've all experienced okay gloves i still don't know which is better the spike defenders or the um the gloves from the favors so these give after 20 hits you get uh 20 stacks for 5,000 power and it's up like 99 percent time when you get hit it you lose one stack so you're at 4,750 power and as soon as you attack again you're back up to 5,000 so it's constant damage so what I uh, <clears throat> I am thinking I don't know how to prove it if this is right or not is I'm using the spike defenders van brace um, because when you attack you get one stack of damage resistance so after five attacks which will be within like your first roots that go up you have it you have five percent damage resistance for your next strike and then after your hit you get five percent more damage for 10 seconds that's a lot of damage um so uh, when we get hit by halister or zerial we get hit hard and this is a very low defensive build and every time we do get hit, it's usually during like lightning or, you know, her big, uh, whatever that giant move's called when we have to use all of our um, damage resistance. So it helps keep you alive and 5% damage for 10 seconds. Uh, I mean, it sounds too good to be true. I might go back to the, um, to the favor gloves, but I'm sticking with these for now. And also, if I get that 5,000 power, I can d redistribute power to get 3,400 crit. So really, if I take off these gloves and put on the um, the the ones we were just talking about with the power, I'm only gaining 3,800 crit. So what's better, 5% damage resistance uh, and 5% or well, variable 5% damage for 10 seconds or 3,800 crit? I don't know. So I'm going with the, the bracers just to be careful. Okay. Uh, you want to use the lion heart weapons for a pure range build and not the zero weapons the reason being is you have to use five encounters and or dailies in order to activate the 7.5 percent damage from celestial which means when you run in there you're not having that seven and a half percent for like the first half of the artifact call so um i would prefer to have a, a nearly as long as i'm not dashing 100% uptime of 7.5% um, uh, damage minus the 200 item level that the Celestial Weapons would give. Uh, I think it's an easy trade-off. So I'm sticking with the Lionheart. Bilethorn, it's still good on this. Bilethorn does even more damage with the um, with our s s um, swapping build, our stance swapping, because um, we're just attacking so much more often. But these hits are so big with this build. I mean, you're easily, uh, you're at wills are hitting for over a million when you're getting CA and behind um, maybe a couple debuffs. Um, 
again, like you can see, um, Azure, Azure. I have Azure in all the offensive slots, and I have all the Azures in all the defensive slots, except for like three tacticals, because I still need to get three more Azures. Um, uh, aim shot, there's no doubt about it. Aim shot is the biggest damage producer in this build, by far, hands down. Um, there's that one, ta one of my tacticals in defense. <sighs> okay, uh, manage, I... Well, mm, so you're gonna go with the combat advantage because I uh, we need for this particular build I'm using I need CA and then hmm what's better 500 of a stat or two and a half percent recharge you want the recharge um, I don't think there's anything even comparable to that and I am going with the five percent damage boots um, the T3 legs are amazing. I think they give 7,500 accuracy, maybe. I think that's what it was. Maybe it was power. Uh, they're amazing, but they don't do as much damage as the rest of the iron leggings. And I'm not worried about the heals because I'm either going to get killed by the enemy or I'm going to be using hellstones right afterwards because uh, I'm just a hellstone junkie. I use them like candy. So I'm sticking with these. There's that 5% damage is amazing. Okay. Uh, music box set. We're still using the music box. It's amazing. Uh, so that never changes. Now, here's a dilemma I had I was facing. I could use the old storytellers journals uh, that are 300 item level. Or I can replace them with the newer 4,500 item level or 4,450 total i'm losing about 1200 stats what is it 1200 800 stats it's not a whole lot Co total stats over everything um when i take these off and i put on the um the 450 but i'm gonna show you my main reason why what's the difference maker for me so i'm at 642 hit points right and i'm gonna take off Mm, I gotta get a combat burn it. Sorry, I'm hurrying guys. Your time is valuable So I'm gonna take off the frozen I'm gonna put on uh, These give power and I need crit strike and they give hit points. So um, Unequip and uh, Let's go with the scepter So now I'm at 630 so when I use these older weapons, I'm getting 15,000 more hit points. I mean, uh, that's so many hit points, especially when you use Stag Heart in this build. Um, to, to, uh, in times when you don't have overshields or when you're, um, something bad happens, like somebody dies. And then what was I using? I was using power and not crit. Yeah, I was using crit strike. Oh no, that combat advantage. I wasn't using that one. Darn it. Okay, I'm gonna assume that one. So I was at 6:30. Now I'm gonna go up to mm, 6:42. So 12,000 more hit points. I thought it was 6:45. Maybe I was using flayed. Hold on. Uh, I don't remember crit one's accuracy. Mm, I need. Oh yeah, that would put me over on combat advantage. Combined raining. Yep, I went with that one because it has accuracy, power, okay, and hit points. So, uh, 643, so 13,000 more hit points when I use those. Uh, that's why I'm using them. Okay, uh, everybody knows music box set for HRs. Now, since we're pure ranged, we're going to go with the Guiding Ring of the Spies to get 3% um, uh, damage to our ranged powers um so in my earlier video i was using this shadow stalker plus five okay with this build we're doing our root damage is much much smaller and that was the main reason for using those in the past um it's a it's I think it was about 4% of this build's damage was from roots. So buffing that 4% by 2.5% is nowhere near the 3% gain you're going to get on all your attacks. Remember, the bigger attacks are, the bigger the extra or the music box set hits for. Um, 
that's my reasoning if somebody can show me that the shadow stalker plus five is better great uh also that 20 that 3000 um or almost 3000 accuracy is a big plus to the build because you're losing very little stats when you take off the shadow stalker um all these gears on this side are all combat advantage all the gears on this side are all power yeah power 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 okay um i'm using the shirt because overall this gives the most stats of any of the shirts uh that 5000 power if i lost this i would have to take 5000 stats out of another stat to put them in here because i'm using almost all the stats to the maximum ability in this build and then in my last build i was the that i pre showed earlier um i was using the pants the uh the velvet pants so what i did is those were giving very actually like 1400 700 of each stat it was very low so what i did is i equipped these pants that give defense and i'm using and i swapped out um the gladiators dial for another assassin's coven so i lose some of this defense but i got 500 stats to everything else so I'm actually getting more offensive stats from these pants because uh, than the velvet pants uh, because I can use the uh, assassins. Mm, I, I think that's it for gears. Um, powers. The only one you'll be using is aim shot. That's it. R2. There you go. The three encounters, you're going to use commanding shot, long striders, and constricting arrow. You're only going to use disruptive shot. I guess you could go with slasher's mark or snipe if you were right at the end of the boss, right before the kill shot, and you had a full AP bar. But it's, you're not going to have full AP in this build. Uh, the um, you're using it a lot because you're trying to get this bonus right here, where every time you use disruptive shot, you increase your damage by 10% for only five seconds. So it takes about 10 seconds to get enough to do disruptive shots. So you're always running low, uh, at least from my three experiences tonight. Okay, this is, this is, there's two couple questionable things in this build so far that have not been 100% verified. Well, this is a given, Seeker's Vengeance. Now, Aspect of the Falcon gives 10% more damage when you're within 25 feet of your target, which is 99% uh, of the time, very rarely, except maybe when you're in the grid, you might be away, but most of the time you're right up close. Normally, we would run with crushing roots that increases the, um, I believe these increase the duration by three seconds of our roots. So we're losing half our root damage. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I think it does though. So I'm cutting my, uh, cut well this builds recommending that you get rid of this cut your um, your root damage but increase all your um, encounter and outlook powers by 10% uh, I only had one ACT to make that assumption but I believe it because black or Vivi is a very respected person and I appreciate black for sharing that with us uh, but it was one run who knows what they'll be like in future runs this is going to have some questionable shots. So we're always using rate of change. Not anymore. We're going to use long shot because we're going to stay in range. So your three encounters you do hit 50% harder. Yes. So sexy. Um, thorn roots. Every time you... Oh, wait. That means I still have it for six seconds. Okay. Um, no, bite. This one's the one that increases by three seconds. Uh, one of them does. Anyways. Uh... This is a given because this one's not really that good. Uh, we don't um, really need the crit severity. Oh, shoot, I am at 84 with this build. Hmm, I still think the 225 magnitude that we get every time we cast um, this and this every time, and the, it's, too, it's, it's probably better. Predator. So every time you apply, every time you do a ranged encounter, you increase all your ranged attacks by 10 more percent for 10 seconds. So that's why we range. Everything goes up by 10%. Now this one's questionable. 
So we're usually using forest pond because every time you use uh, an encounter that gives strong grasping roots, such as commanding shot, would reduce all your cooldowns by 10%. So it really increases your cooldowns. And we're not using our cooldowns hardly at all in this uh, build. So um, my assumption is, I, have, I do not know how to figure this out, is that... Uh, damage we get from commander in chief exceeds the damage we get from having the cooldowns reduced periodically from our encounters um, oh, I would love to use this one though um, I just I'm, I'm really thinking this one's the strongest I just don't know how to do it uh, eyeballing it and then more than disruptive well that's a no brainer because we're slashers mark is great it's 2100 magnitude we just found that out today i didn't notice until today anyways but and when you use it, it increases your encounter damage by 10 percent. but we're not using an encounter um our melee so this is a no-brainer um boons everything okay everything's in um every offensive stat i can get and then all the hit points and then bloodlust mm, forte because that gives you more stats and recharge speed oh, i really want to do the ap game though i might have to forego forte that and go ap because this build really needs ap time will tell hopefully somebody figures out a way to prove it improve it uh cold iron warrior um single target best in slot unless somebody's figured it out and keep it quiet which is totally fine uh, equipment so I'm using two crit severities and the crit strike and these are from um, the zero favor store I don't think you can get them anymore unless you unlock the uh, paid for the or got the mouse you had to pay for some or not pay you then on something um, so I don't know if you can give me or so if you don't have them use these and build your stats around whatever whichever ones you have armor break at zero it, nobody would argue everybody needs to be using that well hopefully one or two people are using dull senses uh, but armor breaks amazing indomitable in all six spots so you're gonna see people with sexy pictures of stats normally they're using the wild hunt rider um, first of all, that proxy was you have to use your encounters. Well, you're using three encounters like every 10 seconds in this build, so the odds of it popping are very low. Um, I would not recommend that. If you did think it was better, uh, don't replace the material. This is best in the slot, hands down. You either replace the Staldorf or uh, take off. You can't replace Space Fighter, so you have to re either replace Black Dragon. Or start off with the um, wild hunt rider, uh, but because you can't put any utility, you're not taking off the battery, and uh, you can't take out because that's a defensive spot for the face spider. Mounts tunnel vision because the T Rexes don't stack anymore. Um, basically, all the DPS get to use tunnel vision. It makes hosting so much easier. Opportunistic for the 4500 combat advantage. Mm. Okay, so this is a kind of a name when you're using the um, the stance uh, changing uh, melee ranged war, uh, hunter build, you're gonna use the encounter. But because this build, the at wills do more damage than the encounters combined, so you want to improve your um, at will damage. So you want to use the at will color. Uh, movement speed, yes, everybody wants that. Well, obviously not because people complain, so they nerfed speed. Anyways, uh, Pratt's cool. Nothing's good there. I'm just using it for the item level. Okay, so if I use the one here that would be crit severity, I would that 5% crit severity would, mat, would cap me. Uh, but I think the recharge speed by 5% is more valuable, uh, contributes more damage to the rotation. Than the five percent crit severity. This is something that I think the HR community will figure out, and um, 
I'm going with recharge speed because uh, those those encounters hit for a ton and Zerio and Tom uh, supportive it doesn't matter I have outgoing so I had two warlords um artificers persuasion but I'm having a hard time putting this in to my rotation because uh, you want to use a couple encounters, use artificers, and then hopefully your encounter or use an uh, artifact to proc this, and then your encounters will be off cooldown. You can use them immediately, but our encounters, have, it's not working that way. So I might change the artificers and get a little bit more damage out of the Cold Iron War by doing another Warlords uh, and two Assassin's Covenants. Mm. Skill, skill, aggression. I have one dominance. If I take that out, I will be at like 98 point or 89.9 or 89.8. That actually needs that dominance to cap power uh, with the artifact. Uh, all skill and aggression. Um, why do I have brutality here? Crit severity. Oh, yeah, because I, um, I was trying to get my combat advantage down. I think. I think that's it for the build. Oh, the rotation. I do not have this down to a science yet, but um, you're gonna stay in this stance and you're gonna have some AP. So what I like to do is commanding shot, disruptive and then counter for three sec or at will for three seconds. A uh, long striders at will for three seconds. Um, disruptive. Oh, um, penetrating arrow and then go back to the um, stag to get that 10% and it's, so it's basically three at wills in between sometimes you have a fourth um, and if you have AP you want to do the AP right before you do the encounter except for commanding shot you want to do it after because commanding shot uh, takes so damn long um, so you want to get as many hits as you can in that five second window um, I, uh, that's it thanks for watching everybody please comment below and thank you for all the comments earlier